In this video I'm going to show you how to download Spybot Search and Destroy and in the next video I'll show you how to use Spybot Search and Destroy. First of all, open up a web browser then head over to Google and then type the word Spybot And then click the first result, most probably safenetworking.org. And then up on the top bar, or this website may change the time you come and look at this. Click download. And then you want Spybot Search and Destroy, in whatever version it may be. Click download. You'll then come up with a few different download um, places you can download the application. I recommend choosing whichever one's at the top. This is where it can get a bit tricky. Um, you don't want to download this. You want to download Spybot Search and Destroy. So keep an eye um, when you see lots of other links that say download. You want to click this particular one. Download Spybot Search and Destroy. Save it to your computer. and then double click on it or run it from wherever you saved it like my documents my downloads click run um, select whichever language you speak mine's English press next press I agree it would also be a good idea to go through and read all this but I've read it before so I'm going to click I agree and then press next um, I take off additional language packs myself because I don't need them. Untick download updates immediately. Um, keep all the other options ticked or unticked like they are now. I also take off these two options because I don't use Internet Explorer. And if you are someone using Internet Explorer, I recommend you change now to Firefox or Google Chrome or Opera. Stay away from Firefox, I mean Internet Explorer. This will cause more problems for you and will mean you'll pick up more Trojans and spyware using Spybot Search and Destroy. I untick the quick launch icon, which comes up down here. But I do keep the uh, Create Desktop icon on to remind me to run this application once, say, a month or how often I decide to run it, depending on how fast or slow my computer is. And I'm going to untick run first because I find it better to run this application by you choosing it. Click finish. And now I have Spybot Search and Destroy installed and I should find it on my desktop, which is this icon here. In the next video I'll show you how to um, install, I mean how to use Spybot Search and Destroy step by step. Um, in my next video, so stay tuned for that video. You'll probably find it a link on the, the video description itself. You can typically find us talking tech 24 7, 7 days a week at tech.flixio.com, link below this video. If you have any other questions for me, you can email me martin at .com, or you can participate in our live video chats that happen every Wednesday at the moment. But for more information, head over to our website and you'll be able to find out when these are going on. Alternatively, you can talk to me with Skype. My Skype ID is Flixio underscore live, where I will answer your questions while we're having a live video show. Until next time.